Wow. Okay. So the underlying energy for you guys this week is the three of wands. And this is talking about, you know, not just waiting, but also putting in effort while you wait. Okay. It's knowing what to expect, especially since you've been manifesting for a while, you've been putting in the effort, you've been really doing the work that's necessary to be able to manifest what your heart's desire is. Now the three of swords is coming up as underneath the, uh, the three of wands. So this could be that there's some past pains or some old heartache here. Um, and you're potentially looking to, I don't know. I think it's honestly looking out from a distance, looking out for, uh, I want to say this potentially has some old issues in regards to a distance, a distance in the relationship. Um, there could be that there is some. You know, there's some old issues in regards to waiting. Um, but there's some old, old issues and it's possibly something that needs to be worked on here. Cause the three of swords is about not just looking at what the issues are, but also to heal those as well. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this for a second. You have the queen of swords, which is somebody that's very good at communicating, very blunt, very straightforward, but she's very good at communicating how she feels and communicating her truths and beliefs. And I have this feeling that this person may be a little bit detached or a little bit distant somehow, um, emotionally, potentially. Um, and I feel like this, but this person knows what she believes. She knows what she, you know, she knows her thoughts. She knows what she thinks and she just sticks to it. Um, it could be a Libra, uh, but it doesn't have to be, it could be anybody in the Zodiac, but this person is so serious. Now what you guys want is the fool. Like, I think you guys want a new beginning. You guys want to take a risk. You guys want to have fun. You guys want to enjoy your life. You guys want to experience something new potentially with your partner here. And I feel like if, you know, something that you've been waiting on for a while, yeah, you're going to want to kind of experience, you know, what you want to experience with this individual. However, the thing that's keeping you from experiencing and, and starting something new is the King of Swords. It could be that there's somebody here that is very serious and someone that, you know, is very, um, can be hard to convince to do something or to believe something otherwise. Um, this is a very stubborn energy. In a sense, this is also someone that's very, you know, it's very distant emotionally or somebody that has put up some, some serious truth to protect themselves because of some pain or some stress or some, in, uh, some anxiety that they have felt in the past. Woo. Now your advice here, Leo is the nine of pentacles, which is talking about, you know, knowing your worth most importantly because the nine of pentacles when you get to this point here you know your worth you know how hard you've been you you've been working hard um you know how hard you've been working towards a certain goal and this goal can have potentially built some strength some sort of um independence and i feel like with the nine of pentacles coming up this could be indicating that yeah you've come a long way and i feel like maybe the nine of pentacles could be talking about you know, finding where you, you know, finding your worth in through the journeys that you've already been through. Um, the Nine of Pentacles, she doesn't, in this energy, she has no issue going outside of her comfort zone, but it's comfortable here. It's comfortable and it's safe. And I feel like with the King of Swords, he may be stubborn. He may be, um, you know, unable to kind of get out of a situation or at least try begin something new with someone because they're very stubborn. They're very stiff. They're not willing to go outside of their comfort zone. They build a gilded cage and they are, they know they're safe here. But at the same time, I feel like it's that's the whole thing isn't it like to be confident in yourself to be able to manifest what you want it's going to require you to take a leap of faith with this and you know with this person or with with yourself putting yourself in a situation where you're more vulnerable and i feel like with this knight of pentacles you're only vulnerable here when it suits when, when it not necessarily what it suits you but when you're surrounded by what you know to be stable that you have built and you have put time and effort into but at the same time that's what i feel like with this nine of nine the nine of pentacles it's not just all it's not just knowing your worth but also to possibly step outside of your gilded cage this could be you know the stepping outside of the of the gilded cage because of the king of swords right he's very serious very stubborn 
and his own right. Like he doesn't, he will not compromise his beliefs, his tr his his thoughts, his truth. He will not compromise that. And it's because of how, what he's been through in the past. He's been had sleepless nights. He's been stressed. He's been depressed, and he's not about to change any of it because he's just got through this. He's now in a place where you you know where he's feeling very you know stable. Now this could be you know anybody right now. There's no he or she because this is a, a reading for everybody. Um, but I feel like it's about stepping outside of the gilded cage. You have conquered all. You have. But it, it can't. if you want something new, something has to change. Now, with the feelings that's coming up for you guys, you have the Emperor. And the Emperor is a very stubborn energy in itself, right? He gets things done, though. He's very action-oriented. But at the same time, the Emperor, he doesn't compromise. He doesn't, he doesn't adjust. He doesn't sway. He, does, he just does what he wants to do, and he sticks with it. And I feel like the Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords is Libra, so she's com she does compromise. She does come up with you know with solutions that uh, that you know honors her truth and honors someone else's. But the King of Swords, he don't budge. He's that's he's like nah. If it's comp if it has anything to do with my truth, you can forget it. And I feel like the Emperor in feelings is definitely showing that there may be a bit of stubbornness. There may be a bit of hesitation or resistance regarding you know regarding ma whatever you're trying to manifest, right? And I feel like it's not like, you know, you've been through some stuff. That's what it's telling me because you've been through some things. But, <clears throat> excuse me. But with the emperor coming up here, it's like, okay, you can be this way, but it can't. But how are you going to get to the fool if you never leave the castle, right? How are you going to begin to stand and find fresh new horizons and new land if you can't leave, if you don't leave the empire for a moment? And I feel like the emperor is like, I, I'm not going to do anything that jeopardizes my safety, it, that that um, hinders my you know my progress, you know anything like that. And I feel like that's could potentially that's what that's what it's looking like. A lot of resistance, but a manifestation. It's like it's hard to do something or to want or to manifest something when there is resistance, potentially because of old issues. Right, three three of swords. There's resistance. And it's, and it's, it's honestly, it's what this card is looking at is the three of swords. If you look at it, right, his back is turned to us and he's looking at what from the distance, the three of swords, these old issues that he knows he needs to conquer here in that card. And that could be that you were dealing with somebody that hasn't dealt with their own issues yet, or you're dealing with somebody that, you know, that brings up these old issues and you have, to, you know, you may be, you may not have been able to you know, really stand on your, uh, stand in your ground because it's stressing you out. Or maybe, Leo, maybe this is, you know, this is, could be that, you know, what you want is on the horizon is, is coming to you if you are open to it. Because the, in the, with the emperor, the emperor is not open, in, open to anything. He just wants to get things done. He will do it his, himself, which is not a problem, but it makes the whole allowing things to come to you allow, it makes the new beginning a lot harder to come. Now, with your hopes and fears, you have the world coming up, which is talking about a completion of a cycle, a successful completion of a cycle. And I do feel like this is what you guys want. You guys want to feel good about the work that you've been putting in. You guys want to feel good about the, the efforts that you've been, that you've been, uh, you know, putting into your situation, to your relationship. Um, I don't see anything bad with this card. I don't see anything bad at all but i do see that these two do go hand in hand what you guys want is a successful successful completion what you guys hope for you want to complete this properly but then you want the fool here but the thing is this is kind of like this is like there's a lot of stress and what you can't control right some things some things you control some things you may not want to just so that way things can unfold but in your outcome, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is somebody that's a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or this is somebody that you that has a significant age difference. Um, I don't think so. Maybe a different maturity level. But this is about taking it slow, slowing down. You're still making progress, but it's about man. It's a manifestation kind of progress. You're taking it slow. When things build, it takes some time. So I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles, this could be that you're looking. You know, this could be looking at the details, taking a closer look at a situation. But ultimately, there is some. You know, it's slowed down significantly. There's there's some things that are slowing down, for the purpose of reanalysis to make sure that it is you know this whatever you're going after is worth the effort is worth the you know 
the time. It's worth the, um, you know, it's worth the effort, you know, whatever. Ultimately, the Knight of Pentacles could be that someone is coming in to offer you what you've been wanting, what you've been waiting for for a while. You know, this is, or you go after it, right? Or you go after it and you go offer something of, of something that you see or you feel has value. But this is potentially the, you know, the, the procrastination card. So, right? So th there may be that there may need some time to slow down. Maybe there's just reevaluation that's coming up here. The ju judgment card comes up. I didn't even get a good chance to shuffle here. And I don't really, I didn't really get a chance to ask. So I'm not going to accept this. All right. Um, why is the Nine of Pentacles their advice? Why is the Nine of Pentacles Leo's advice? The Eight of Swords. Eight of Wands, rather. Things are moving very fast. Things are moving very fast. There could be communication back and forth. What else can you tell us about this Eight of Wands? What else can you tell us about this Eight of Wands? Seven of Cups. Whoa. These are moving very fast, especially in regards to what you want or some or some sort of, you know, options. It's very contradicting energy because the Eight of Wands is very clear and it doesn't, they don't obstruct each other. It's not confusing. You know what's happening. It just may be overwhelming. But then the Eight, the Seven of Cups talks about confusion. It's very hard to, you know, to pinpoint what offer really offers what because the Seven of Cups is... It's about making decisions. Um, it was making a decision or making or picking out of the options that's available to you. So, hmm. your advice could be the Nine of Pentacles because things are moving very fast. You know, which the Nine of Pentacles talks about, you know, feeling confident and, you know, knowing your worth. And knowing what your worth means, you know, utilizing it and using that as a, as a boost potentially with the eight of wands and to help you make you make decisions based off of what it is that you want. The king, the emperor, the emperor is a very interesting card to get in your feelings, but I feel like most importantly, there is something, you know, the eight, the nine of pentacles doesn't necessarily necessarily move from that spot. This is, it doesn't necessarily move from where it where where this person is. So it's almost like for me when I see this trip with this trio. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if I can hold it in, in a way that you guys can see all of them. There we go. Um, the Nine of Pentacles could be like yeah, they're stuck in a gilded cage, but there's a, the the reason why you may need to get out of this gilded cage is because this can prove this can dramatically. Per, like push the the situation or make your manifestation come in faster or make this relationship you know, like I don't know make the relationship work it sounds really contrived perhaps just begin to make progress in the relationship necessary progress because you're stepping outside of your comfort zone and there's no set way right there's no clear direction or there's no clear outcome for each but as long as it resonates with your truth, it resonates with what your heart's desire is, it should be, you know, it's all worth it, isn't it? Wow. Let's go ahead and take a look at your romance angels. What's going on with you guys? Oh wow, past life relationship comes right out. And it says you've known each other before. Wow. So this relationship is does reflect a past life relationship. Okay. Very interesting. Or perhaps you're dealing with a past life relationship because of the beginning of this one. There could be something from a relationship that you just previously ended that you're still, you know, you're still dealing with. And in order to begin to build off of something new, it will potentially require you to look at those old issues and set yourself free. Because perhaps you made, perhaps there's boundaries that are set up in place 
and you know to protect you but now it's hindering the growth of something else see what the whispers of love has to say for this week Wow, it says be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. Wow, that's very interesting. That's an interesting card to get there as well. And I feel like it's more so being supportive to yourself because you're going through such a difficult time, right? You have these boundaries for a reason. You don't have them just for the, for the sake of them, just to kind of be difficult. You did it to protect yourself. The eight of, the nine of pentacles, in this nine of swords talks about you guys have been through a lot of an emotional and physical journey where it's exhausting it's exhausting but you've got to where you can be more happy but in the past you were very stressed out because of some sort of morals and now it's feel like i feel like you're going through a time of change so the 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 so you know be supportive card could be talking about having more compassion for yourself as you transition because if this is what you want, there may be a time of, there may be a need of change. There may, there may need to be some sort of change. And that's not something that you want, but at the same time, you're afraid of. Everybody's afraid of change. Not just you. I mean, I can attest to that. When it comes to change, it can be very scary. However, that's where the Nine of Pentacles comes in. Do you trust yourself to manifest something amazing despite what happened in the past? Because right now, it's looking like you're looking back in the past when it comes to manifesting. And you've been through so much. And you've come out so much stronger. King of Swords, you're coming out stronger. So it's all about what you believe, Leo, this time around. It's all about what you believe. 